What's up Kings? This is part two of my series about traveling alone in this lonely planet. These are the disadvantages of traveling alone. Engage. All right, so last week I went over the upsides of traveling alone. And according to my comment section, many people feel like traveling alone is the best way to travel. Well, if you want to see my opinion of traveling alone's upsides, follow this link right here. And if you agree or disagree with my assessments, leave a comment. But be sure to give me a thumbs up for my effort. All right, now this episode is brought to you by the Passport Kings Travel Group. Being a Passport King will actually give you the ability to travel for cheap, allow your friends and family to fly and lodge for cheap, as well as make yourself some money from being an associate of mine. Yo, Passport Kings has become a sister company to one of the largest travel agencies in the world. And I would love for you to join, so sign up to my mailing list that's on my website, PassportKings.com slash contact us. But that's only if you're interested in that type of thing. So check out the videos on that page, then PM me on Facebook and I can get you going. All right, y'all. Here are the downsides of traveling alone on this lonely planet. Number one, many things like hotels, cabs, restaurants, they're quick to give discounts to groups of two or more people. But when you're alone, the discounts never apply to you. I guess this is the perfect time to meet a stranger, but you don't always want to do that. Sometimes you just want to sit there quietly, eat, and take in the sights and sounds of a beautiful new city. And you want to do that without making conversation, well, without making awkward conversation with a person that you really don't know. But unfortunately, that two-for-one sale on the seafood dinner bash, it won't apply to you. Neither will the amusement park rides, the trains, the haircuts, the shuttle buses, or anything else. Yo, traveling alone is more expensive by default. And here's number two. Streaming videos and sharing pics on social media, it can compensate a little bit for not having anyone else to experience adventures with but some things can only be enjoyed with a partner or two because sharing suspense or laughter with another person it's something about that it feels really human yeah we're social creatures when you and a friend or a lover find either a little hole in the wall together or a big hole in the ground that you both scale down together you form a new kind of bonded connection with that person. Sharing memories or inside jokes that was created while you two or more were traveling outside of your comfort zones together, that's worth more than gold, man. Well, it's worth more than money could buy because a hug, a high five, an embrace, or even a kiss can very easily make a random moment in time into the moment that you will reminisce on for the rest of your life. And showing a loved one on Twitter a picture like that, it, it pales in comparison, man. And finally, here's reason three. I talk tough, <laughs> but in reality, I'm just one human. And there's only so much that I could do to protect myself when I'm by myself. An extra set of eyes can keep track of belongings, or see who's been following us around for too long. And that extra security, that's worth its weight in platinum. On Passport Kings, I always try to get you to calm your irrational fears down. But at the same time, I promote being smart about this. Your safety is your responsibility wherever you go, but having a partner takes away a little bit of the burden. There'll be an extra set of eyes, ears, an extra cell phone, or two sets of fists in case you got a scrap with some young punks that have been looking at your brand new camera for way too long. But chances are people won't even try it if they know that they'll be caught or that it would be more trouble than what it's worth. Saying all that to say, a good friend can protect you. All right, if you have anything to add to this topic or anything about traveling in general, leave a comment below. I always answer them. Let's keep this conversation going. But that will wrap up this episode of Passport Kings. 
Podcast. And if you enjoyed it, there are a few things that I would love for you to do to show your support. First, subscribe to this YouTube page. And if you're watching this video from another location, my YouTube page is youtube.com slash C slash Passport King. Second, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Passport underscore King. And also, like my Facebook page, I'm at facebook.com slash Passport Kings. And I'm, on, I'm finally on Instagram. That is at Passport Kings. Why should you, you ask? Because not only does it let me know that you enjoy the content that I provide on the subject of traveling, but it'll also benefit you because you'll be kept in the loop about new travel info and deals. And plus, you'll know firsthand when I release the new episode. Plus, for my more advanced Passport Kings, I want to keep y'all involved with the international moves that the Passport Kings are now making now that we've become sister companies with a large travel agency. And guess what? Like I said in the commercial, you're welcome to join. And if that interests you, you must right now go to www.passportkings.com slash contact us. Like I said, look at the videos and if you're interested in that type of thing, hit me on Facebook. And my Facebook page is Rockland. Or you could go to my group BM Travel Abroad and you'll always see me there. I'm always posting there. And on my website, sign up to that mailing list and you'll get all the info as soon as it comes out. This is the thing, losers have either decided to not try or to stop trying. Winners will try, fail, learn, practice, and then try again until they win. And they'll put that cycle on repeat until they ultimately win at anything. Losers don't do that. Don't be a loser. Be a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week on Wednesday. Check you later. Because when you're in the streets by yourself, you might have to knock somebody out. Yo, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know why? Because one man can't run a train on a... What? 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 I didn't do anything. Wait, like I said, y'all, sign up to uh, PassportKings.com slash contact us. Look at those videos, man. This is a wonderful opportunity for you dudes. And we can all be Passport Kings. We can all get this money and we can all travel like kings. Check it out, yo. I'll talk to y'all next week.